come along for the finish. There we go, taking the win. Alright, so we are currently walking through the airport. I am on my way to do some WRL racing with our uh, friend Shaky Dog Racing. Chris Lewis runs this badass Miata, which you'll see eventually here, Moose. And uh, this will be my fourth WRL race with them. And it's usually a pretty good weekend, so I figure I'll bring camera along and uh, see what shakes out. We're going to Hastings. Uh, haven't been to Hastings other than one lap, and on one lap I made Chris drive because I don't know the track. So, um, fortunately, it looks like we're on a two hour delay already for the flight, so it's gonna be a long night. All right, so we've got about three hour delay now, so opposed to getting into Lincoln at 9.30, it, it's gonna be late. All right, so I was just reading messages, and I got this, apparently, uh, apparently Tramp, the other shaky dog car, I'll be driving Moose, uh, but the other Miata, I just got a text from Chris Lewis, uh, said Tramp just lifted a head gasket in practice, heads off, uh, being machined now, and we're working on finding another head gasket, so I guess the head warps, and now they gotta get it decked. So that's not going well. So hopefully they're having better luck than I am, but apparently not. Maybe they'll still be up when I get there at 1, 2 in the morning. We'll see. Well, unfortunately, it's the next morning. Um, I'm here at the lovely Holiday Inn Express in Chicago. Um, lots of delays, more, and when we finally got on the plane to leave Philly, a storm came in. So we then sat on that plane for another couple hours. Um, by the time we got to Chicago, uh, there were no longer any flights to Lincoln or Omaha or really anywhere because of all the uh, travel trouble. On top of that, so many people missed all their connections that there was no way to get a rental car. Um, in fact, it took me like two hours, two and a half hours just to get this hotel room. So uh, got a few hours sleep and gonna try and make it to the track today. I should get there around 1.30, I think, after flight and drive. Uh, I just saw the race started. So, uh, Shaky Dog 45 is up and running. Looks like uh, Tramp, the team car. Um, something's wrong with it. But uh, if I make it to the track, maybe I'll be more helpful.
<laughs> Good job, man. You're freaking flying. <laughs> I suppose you want out bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's like giggling like I don't oh we have anything to cut this zip tie. Oh. Lewis! Yeah, Connor! Alright, well I survived. One, I made it here. These guys kept the car together. This is an amazing guy right here. <laughs> Somehow I made it here <laughs> and then got shoved right in the car. I didn't have time to get anything out or figure anything out. The radio worked for the comm check. <laughs> and then that was it. That was, he never heard anything again. And uh, here it is. Here's these moves. We uh, somehow won. I guess the car just laid out right, and she kept running. This is the one I want to see. It's our, it's our patented Robert Thorne splitter reinforced. Yep, yep. The old just drill a few more holes and zip tie to the tow hooks. Works every time. Nice. Oh my goodness. Ah, we've been kicking. Flew it out of the transmission. Oh, no. the levels on that. Okay. All right, we are here between race service. Hopefully not allowed to do, but Moose definitely had a rough day. Got some splitters to swap out. Some minor body work. Some other toys. It's bigger, right? It's a bigger. Yeah, we'll figure out why it's shaking. Dog. Shaky dog. Check out my sweet bedroom for the evening. So, we got finished up with the car. Both cars. Um, unfortunately, Tramp, the other Miata, um, looks like the cylinders are too badly damaged. Um, fresh head was on, everything looked good, um, but we're guessing it, it got really hot when the coolant came out of it. Um, the water temperature sensor basically wasn't reading, so they ran it a little too long, and I think we may have just ruined the rings or annealed them. I, I don't know. It got hot. Uh, there's no compression. The valve seal, it's all through the rings, so uh, it's dead. We did bump start it, and <laughs> it smoked like crazy, and then uh, shut off a few minutes later. So, that's it. So, it's uh, Sunday morning. Out here with Moose, Hastings. Um, we had a good race yesterday. Um, I was able to jump in the car like as soon as I got here, and uh, got lucky enough to drive the car to the win. So she's ready to go. Day two. We've got an eight-hour race today, and everything's looking good. So hopefully we can take down another uh, overall win. Keep the car in one piece, and um, have some fun while we're doing it. There's Tina. Got all our our fan boards. High tech tools. And because endurance racing, lots of fuel and lots of spare tires. These things are pretty sweet. Super fun. Fill up the car and like it's like it's like. Eight seconds for every five gallon jug of this thing. And then Chris made this stand. And this stand holds the second jug. So if we're putting 10 gallons in the car, this will hold the second one and swing out over the pit wall. Nothing can be on the pit wall. So this swings over out to the car. You can just pick it up and pop it on. It wouldn't be a track day without some track dogs. Hi guys! Yay! Bruno. Yay! Which one's Baxter the, again? The original dog. Oh, the OG. The OG. Hi, Bax. <laughs> These guys are so friendly and cuddly, unless they're fighting each other. Hi! <laughs> I know you're so soft. There's a good puppy. Did you call him? Good luck.
are racing. of bacon. It is super delicious. That car there was just leading the race and they appear to have run out of gas a bit earlier than they were expecting. Getting some fuel put in. But that means that we've just taken over the lead. You can see the sheer excitement in the pits that we're now leading the race. All of our fans are going wild. We are about to be leading by a, by a lap. Woo! Details. Car's back out running good. Got fuel in it. Got Cletus in it. What are we doing here, Chris? Uh, we're looking right. at lap data. Trying to figure out who's faster where, why, so that we can all get better. With eight hours of racing, we got to find something to pass the time. <laughs> so we, got, we got turn one. Actually, turn one's coming out of here and then going into turn two. Coming out of turn two along the long straightaway and into the fast little kink. So neither of us were perfect. Yeah, we're not perfect. We gotta put it together today. Yes. Well, we need the time attack version of this. So we can just try to beat each <laughs> other for the fastest lap. lap. <laughs> That's why we keep breaking the splitter. That's right. Way too competitive for fastest lap. <laughs> Second pit stop in, well, second fueling stop. We may have had the splitter thing earlier, but there it is. Out there ripping around. We got a one lap lead right now. Keep it smooth. We got about almost an hour and a half left here. We got a one lap lead. 
We just gotta keep the car out front. We got our last fuel stop coming in. We need probably 10 gallons in the car and then we're gonna send it right back out. And uh, hopefully the guys can keep it out front. Two lap lead. Two lap lead. All right, we're up to two lap lead. So we're just gonna cruise her home today, hopefully. Keep everything nice and smooth. Who's going in? Jason's going in. Jason. Jason's going in. He's going to take her home for us today. We have all decided that Jason's better at not driving off the track. Uh, me and Chris get too competitive as to who's faster. <laughs> so uh, I don't think that's much of a competition. <laughs> I don't know, we were all pretty close this weekend. Uh, it's all within half a second. Yeah, it is. So, um, yep. Yeah. See if we can knock this out. No mistakes. We have to finish. Oh, Here, Tyler. One in the bag. It'll be two for two. Watch your mind. Water, man. Always exciting. Go ahead and sit down. Thank you. All right. Refresh. Feel good? Yeah. Super windy out here. There is three minutes left in this. How long was today? Seven hours? How long was today? Seven hours? Seven hours. Seven hours. Three minutes left in this seven hour race. Our car is out there leading, like the little champ that it is, <laughs> old Moosey. It may be a Miata, but we still have the fastest lap of the race, despite all the Porsches and BMWs that are here. This thing is a monster. Definitely the best setup Miata I have ever been in. One of the best setup cars I've ever been in. Chris and Tina do an amazing job. Also, if I didn't mention, Chris and Tina always camp at the track and they really rough it. This is their rig. Minimum 30 minute showers. Yeah. You guys rough it, huh, here? Oh, oh yeah. I was just telling them how you guys, you have to camp when you come to races. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's called glamping. Glamping? Glamping. Yeah. Chateau, Chateau de Lewis. That's a, that's a, that's You're the, good, I'm done. I'm done. Go the team moved on. <laughs> There we go, taking the win. Woo! We're running down. I forgot we zip tied him in there again. Hey, sorry, buddy, we zip tied you in there again. Chris is coming. Nice job. A little toasty in there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Almost in perfect shape today. Minor, you know, I don't even know if that really counts anymore. Good job, buddy. Oh, that's perfect. Everything is perfect today. I was just saying, I don't even think that counts anymore. You can sit on the edge here. Say, how many do we go through in a weekend usually? Listen, two. 1.95, that one time. Moose. A little Mayfield must have rubbed off. This poor little critter stuck in the front grill. Fly. Oh, he's gone. Got other cars here. Team. Our modified team for today. So if I didn't explain, the team has two cars. This is one. 
And then the other one, Tramp, is the one that had a, a head gasket issue on Friday. It just is that we couldn't get it fixed because it just got too hot and damaged the pistons or something. So, Moose had to do all the work, so we shuffle all the drivers around. Everyone got at least one drive in it this weekend. And uh, yeah, with uh, two completely different driver lineups, we took the win Saturday and Sunday. So it's pretty fun to be able to do that and uh, have our champion car take home a few more wins. It was a tough day though. Ambient 97 degrees out here, cooking. A lot of people having ti uh, tire problems, all kinds of issues. Super fun. Can't thank the Lewises enough for having me on board. <laughs> this one's easy. Yeah. Oh. And GB2 and your overall race leader, because Shaky Dog. It's been a long weekend, We're pretty much all packed up. I'm gonna uh, get my car, drive back to Lincoln, and hopefully make my flight in the morning. I hope everyone had fun, it was a pretty wild weekend. Sorry I didn't get a lot of footage from Saturday, but uh, it was still still pretty good time. A big thank you to uh, Shaky Dog, Tina, and Chris, and everyone that was here helping out. Uh, Cletus, and Brenda, and everyone I can't remember. Um, Always a good time. I can't wait to the next one. It's in two weeks in Atlanta, and uh, hopefully we'll have a video from that too.